Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to fix the Joy-Con drift issue and it's such a simple fix. So first, we're going to go in here, select the Joy-Con and as you can see, I'm not touching the Joy-Con but it's drifting. Okay. Okay. I'm going to turn off the switch. And just to let you guys know, this is done with the business card. That's it. Just a standard business card. Get the Joy-Con. And first of all, open it up. I've already taken the screws out. Careful when you take this part apart because there's two ribbon cables right here. I want to be sure not to damage those. And first thing we're going to do, there should be a little hole like right here for the battery. Just pop that open real gentle. And then it goes underneath here. You should be able to just real gentle, just stick this in here. Set that aside. All right. Once you take that off, this side doesn't look like it has that many screws, but the other side, this Joy-Con here, has one screw here, another one right here, and another one right here. So we're just gonna take off this screw right here, and I think this one. get the Wi-Fi antenna. The other side doesn't have the Wi-Fi antenna, so this is particular to this controller. Be able to, there it is. Flip it over, take this right here. Flip this little piece up. There you go. And with my tweezers, pull this guy out. Now we can remove this. For what I'm doing, I don't need to take the whole thing apart. I just need to get to this piece. This is the part that's the problem. And I'll show you guys more of it. So here's what the problem is. This piece right here, this piece right here has multiple points, but what happens is that down here, it basically comes off from this sensor right here. It comes off just enough so that it doesn't make contact. So what we're gonna do is take this thing apart and slip in this little piece of business card directly underneath between the contact. And I'll show you guys that right now. Take these apart upside down because you have these little sensors here i mean the little contacts here and if those fall out that's a pain in the butt set that down take the little spring put it back inside 
this is what the problem is right here so what's happening is that you have this sensor here this one here and this one here and there's nothing back here no cushioning or anything behind this it's literally just sits on top of the metal piece here's the problem with whenever you press down on the the joystick this thing because there's nothing holding it back here it pushes down and it warps just enough where it doesn't make contact so that's what the problem is and if you send it to Nintendo they might replace it which is fine but you're not actually fixing the problem you're just replacing the part with another one that's eventually gonna go wrong so I'm just gonna measure this real quick Okay, uh, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but when you take yours apart, you will. Right here, there's a little tab. This little tab goes where the three holes are. It goes directly into that. And if you guys forget which way it goes, there's this little silver, this little silver piece right here. That's that goes up. Okay, so. When you put it in there, it should look just like that. There's my little piece of business card. It covers all the way in the back, so it touches all of these contacts. And that's pretty much it. Now, I'm gonna just slide it back on this guy because I widened these guys a little bit so that they fit, so that they would come off, I mean. I have to put them back. Because that's what's gonna do most of my pressure right there. Okay, so once you have it reassembled, now it's time to put the whole thing back together again. So what I ended up losing was on the trigger, there's a spring that goes right here and it goes right here. Um, it popped out on me and obviously that's a bad thing, but I'm gonna reassemble my, my Joy-Con in a little bit, but I'm gonna put the battery in just to show you guys that this does work. Okay, so my battery's in there. I'm not gonna reassemble it. As you can see, when I press a button, it lights up. Go back into settings, Google controllers, calibrate joysticks. Now, and as you can see, the Joy-Con is now fixed. No more drifting. Everything works beautifully. No more issue. With my other one, I did have to calibrate it, but you just click on calibrate, go through the steps, and that's it. it no more issue, Joy-Con drift is gone, fixed forever. All right, so, so here we go. I've reassembled everything. I found the spring that I lost a little bit ago. So let me go ahead and get logged in. All right, so we're gonna go back into settings. 
controller and sensors calibrate sticks the joysticks I'm gonna start with the left one as you can see it works no drifting nothing this one I did have to calibrate after I reassembled it this is the right one as you can see problem is now resolved all right guys hope that helps somebody good luck